turns off and the electrics off, the investor just wants kind of a second opinion. Kitchen's usually a big telltale sign. Should be a cooker switch somewhere because it's an electric cooker. I'm going to try and see what the roof looks like. We can't quite see that from here. This video I'm going to share you the key things you need to be looking out for when doing a viewing of a property that is a repossession. So repossession is when the banks take this property back. And what happens with a lot of repossession properties is that the electrics, the water and everything gets cut off. So I meet Lisa over on a project that she's just secured. Well, it's about to complete and she secured this and sourced this on. Lisa's in my partnership program and my accelerator program where we teach people how to find deals and then I put their deals onto my WhatsApp group and find, match them with an investor. So she sold this deal on, she's got a 4K fee, she's brand new to property, six weeks into this program and I've met her on the property just to go over with her what she needs to be looking out for just to get this over the line with the investor with the electrics turned off. So make sure you watch this all the way through so you know what to do when you're on a viewing. But before you do that, make sure you smash that like button, it really helps this channel. Oh yeah, we had the survey back and because it's a repossession, obviously the water's off and the electric's off. The investor just wants kind of a second opinion to make sure everything is up to scratch and there's no kind of big red flags because obviously we can't test them. So yeah, what kind of things would you look for? Like what red flags would you would you typically see in a property? Yeah, so straight away, the water's off. You just want to look for previous like signs of leaks. Yeah. Little splash there, but nothing major on there. So that looks, that looks, that splash looks more like when they've disconnected the pipe work more so than it was with, with a leak or anything. Yeah. So I'd look around there, I would have a look in the bathroom as well, just staying on the water, on the water sort of subject. I'd just have a look for any signs underneath this sink, if there's any major signs of leaks and around, the, around here of any signs, which there isn't. Any signs of, obviously you've got a tile floor, so it's gonna be hard under there. Yeah. But whether the water was on or not, signs of leaks under here would be seeable anyway, yeah. either, or unseeable, sorry, should I say. Even if the water was on, you yeah. might that might be hidden under there anyway. Yeah. So that's as a risk what you see with water on or not. Where's the electrics? You know where the electrics is? No, I'm not sure. The get fuse board. It's a metal one straight away, so that's good news. So that's up to current regs. So okay. that gives you a good sign. That's I think 2019 that the regs changed okay. on that. So that's fairly newish. Yeah. And again, what I would look around for for electrics is sockets and how many sockets they've got yeah. in there. So a great sign what we can see in here as well. If we can see that on the wall over there. Is you can see like they've got the ether sockets and the, the the aerial and loads of sockets around that around the property gives you a good indication there's nothing wrong with the electrics yeah. especially when they're put in telephone and internet sort of ones as well so the wiring's been addressed fairly soonish like fairly soonish should i say fairly recently <laughs> recently -ish. and again yeah just look around all the rooms kitchen's usually a big telltale sign but we've got Current regs, when you have a bedroom, I think you have to have two sockets in every single bedroom okay. for it to pass current regs and a, and a like the ERRCI certificate, even if I've said the numbers right, but the electric certificate. Similar again, you can see the here. What I would look at for is there should be a cooker switch somewhere because it's an electric cooker. Yeah. So you'd want to look for that electric cooker switch. Can't see that straight away, yeah. but it might be in the cupboard. And again, oh look, this is a decent cylinder, very, very new. Again, with the proper power switch on there, I think that may Here. be. Oh, is it there? Yeah. So there you go, yeah. That's so there, new, yeah. So that gives you a good indication that is probably up to modern regs. Cool. So electrics, I think, pretty on. One of the things I would report back to your investor is that's a metal modern box. You don't, that doesn't need changing. Okay. So it's just a case of getting it on and testing, see if there's any faults. But out of experience, I can, can't see much with there. Again, I'd look at the boiler, look at the age of it, first of all, straight away you can see it's a fairly newish one. Mm -hmm. This is a, I guess this is not a gas system in here, this is a, oh no, it is gas, isn't it? Oh, it's electric, excellent, yeah. So, yeah, that, that looks new, so I wouldn't be so worried about that. So there's nothing in here that really, again, look around windows, look around seals, look for blown windows, because they're little things that can cause problems. Yeah. These are double glazing, but they're wood. Yeah. But again, get these treated straight away. I would put it on the list of what to do. I'd get okay. those treated straight away. I'll just look around the edge, edges. It's not on the ground floor, so you're not gonna have rising damp, but I'd just look around the edges of the ceilings. So if you look around here, you'll see any sign of gutterings or anything like that. I'll yeah. the back ones are, oh, they're, they're, they're still wood. Yeah, just look around the edge in there. And then the electric radiators, do they affect the EPC? The reality is, yes they do, but this is why the government have pushed back the EPC, because the government are just confused with what they want. They, the government ultimately 
want to eradicate gas spoilers, yeah. but these give you a higher EPC, yeah. you know? So yeah, they're mixed up in the air. So yeah, they, that's, that's gonna be reviewed very soon, but it's okay. not nothing that you'd worry about. But again, yeah, just look around the windows, look around the seals, look around the edges of all these rooms around here, the electrics, especially in a property in this condition, then yeah, that's the main thing I'd be okay. looking out for in here, with, especially with the, with the services turned off. Yeah, but no major red flags, no? No. So if I'm out the front of these properties, what I'm gonna look for, predominantly is I'm gonna try and see what the roof looks like. We can't quite see it from here, so you'd, look, you'd have to go back over there to see that. I'm just looking for that roof line. I'm looking to see any overgrown stuff in the guttering, because often that's a problem. One thing you'd want to look at, on the EPC on this, I don't know if you checked it, but to see if this is a, because this looks like a traditional built building. Yeah. I, by the thickness of it though, it might have a cavity, but I'm not 100% sure. So just double check that, because mm -hmm. if he's asking about the EPC, that is something on there, but I'd look just for just these guttering lines to see any lines, like any water marks al along there from the outside. Obviously I'm looking at the door, I'm looking at the windows. The windows are wooden, but I would advise the investor to get those treated yeah. because you'll see some of them inside. It's only a paint, like, but just get them like, wood treated with paint and then have that on his schedule every like three, mm -hmm. two to three years Do that. Get them redone because them windows are fine. They're double glazing, especially yeah. being sash. They're double glazing. They're fine windows, but if you just let them go too far, then you get beyond the point of return. So okay. for the sake of paying somebody a day's labour just to paint them once every couple of years, it's, it's definitely worth, doing, worth yeah. doing and worth advising them to do. Again, I try and look at the chimney and just look, see if there's any movement in the chimneys, the chimney pot, the, the pointing around it. Try and look at the flashing around the edges of there. But yeah, this property looks absolutely fine, apart yep. from the challenges we've had with obviously the decking and that side of it. Yeah, the property looks absolutely fine. So yeah, I think it's a really good find. Whoop, I'm covering myself over. The property looks <laughs> really fine. I think it's a really good find and a really good work first one to get going with. So you can see this property was a turnkey property, so not much work need doing. If you want to see what you have to do on a viewing on a BRR project, make sure you watch this video here. And if you want to partner with me like Lisa did and get me to train you how to find deals and then me put your deals on my list of WhatsApp and, and out to my social medias where I've got hundreds of thousands of followers, then comment the word partnership and we'll send you over the details to apply to work with us.